Okay, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 4.6 from study book and this is the circuit and the question is find I0 in the circuit using source transformation. Okay, here is some hint. So, source transformation is transforming from from or to this voltage source connected in series with a resistance or a current source with a resistance but in parallel sorry about that okay so this should be parallel so we can convert to each other using the relationship of V is equal to I multiplied by R so if we want to use this type of source but we have this type of source we can convert to each other using this formula okay let's start solving the problem so here what can we do first uh, i see that this is a current source 5 ampere current source and it is connected with two resistance 6 ohm and 3 ohm and we can see that 6 ohm resistance and this 3 ohm resistance is parallel to each other because it is connected to same nodes so this node and this node so we can combine that resistance okay let's combine that resistance into r is 6 parallel with 3 okay 6 parallel with 3 means that 6 times 3 divided by 6 plus 3 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 and 18 divided by 6 plus 3 is 9 so 18 divided by 9 it is 2 ohm okay now we can replace this two resistor with two single 2 ohm resistor okay let's do that so i will erase this and i will erase this and replace it with 2 ohm Okay, so now we have this current source and 2 ohm resistor. So I want to convert it into this type of source. So I want to convert it into voltage source in series with this 2 ohm resistor. Okay, now we need to calculate what is the value of the voltage source. Okay, so V is 5 ampere multiplied by 2. So that will be 10 volt. Okay, now I will change this into voltage source. So I will have 10, 10 volt here. But remember, if we use voltage source, we need to use the resistance in series. So I will have this resistance in series. So I will have this as 2 ohm. So, so far we simplify this equation using source transformation. Okay, now let's see what we can simplify again from this circuit. So, now I have this two resistor is connected in series. So, 1 plus 4 is 5. So, we can rewrite this as a single resistor. So, this is 5 ohm. Okay, now what can we do here? Now I have two voltage source which is connected in series to each other. This and this. And that means that we can add up both of them. So 10 multiplied, I mean multiplied, 10 add by 5. So 10 plus 5 is 15. So I will have 15 volt here. And I will remove this voltage source. Okay, so far so good. Okay, let's erase this so we can concentrate on current circuits. Okay, now I have 15 volt in series with 2 ohm and I want to convert it into this type of source. The current source and parallel resistor. So the current will be 15 divided by 2 which is 7.5 ampere 
and we change this 2 ohm into series i mean into parallel so i will have this as 2 ohm and this as for current source current source so here so far i will have 7.5 Okay, now we have this circuit and here we have two current source with which can we combine with each other so we can just add both of them because the direction is the same so this going to this node and this going to this node so according to KCL they will add up to each other so I will have only one current source but with 7.5 plus 3 which is 10.5 so 10.5 ampere so i can erase this and replace it with open circuit okay now we have this circuit and then i want to combine this resistor this 2 ohm and 5 ohm and they are connected in parallel to each other because they are connected to the same nodes so 2 and 5 so the resistance is 5 parallel 2 which is 5 multiplied by 2 divided by 5 plus 2 so I will have 7 I mean 10 over 7 ohm okay so we can replace this single this into single resistor So I will have 7, I mean 10 point, 10 over 7. Oh. Now I want to transform this circuit into this circuit again. So I will have voltage source, which is the value is this 10.5 multiplied by this resistance. So 10 over 7 volt so I don't want to do algebra here so I will just leave it as is so I will have this as voltage source with 10.5 multiplied by 10 over 7 and we change this resistor into series And we have that value is 10 over 7 ohm. So here is the simplification that we have done so far. And then to calculate I0, have I0 is the value of this voltage source. So 10.5 multiplied by 10 over 7 divided by the sum of resistance which is 10 over 7 plus 7 ohm okay now let's get calculator and leave it into it so here i will have my calculator and i will have 10.5 multiplied by 10 over 7 divided by 10 over 7 plus 7 then I will have our result and I will rounding round it into two decimal places so I will have I0 is 1.5 over 7 ampere Okay, here is our final answer to the problem for dot six. Okay, thank you for watching and let me know if you find any mistake in my calculation. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for get more videos. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.